Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the student attendance record 1 problem. You're given a string representing an attendance record for a student. The record only contains the following three characters. A for absent, L late, P present. A student could be rewarded if his attendance record doesn't contain more than one A or more than two continuous L. You need to return whether the student could be rewarded according to his attendance record. And here they give you two examples. In example one, the method returns true, because as you can see, there are no more than one A, and there are no more than two L's. In example two, the method returns false, because as you can see, there are more than two L's. So how can we solve this problem? Well, what we can do is that we can iterate from left to right, and we can have two variables to keep track of the count of L's and also the count of A. And we check if the count of A is more than one, we can immediately return false. If the count of L is more than two, we can immediately return false. And we also have to check for continuity of the L's because the L's have to be continuous. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. As I said, I'm going to have two variables, integer count a, gets a value of zero, count l, gets a value of zero. Then I will iterate through the string from left to right. So for char c in s that to char array, I will check if c equals equals a, then I will increment count A, because I have one more A, plus plus count A. And then I will check. After I increment, I will say if count A is greater than one, then I can re immediately return false. And notice here that I'm using the pre-increment the pre operator. So first I increment the variable, and then I check. And because I saw an A, I have to reset the count for L. Count L gets a value of zero. Because this breaks the continuity. We're looking for continuous L. So if I had the count L be, uh, before, uh, because I saw L's before, this will break the continuity because now I saw an A. So I have to reset the variable to, to zero. Else if C equals equals L, in that case, I have to increment count L plus plus count L. And I also have to check if this count that I have now is more than two, I can immediately return false. Because as you can see, um, it cannot have more than two. Then what I do is that else, if I didn't see an A and I didn't see an L, that means that I saw a P. And what that does is that it breaks the continuity of the L's, if I had continuity before. So I can reset L, count L, gets a value of zero. And by the end, I return true. If I was able to iterate through the entire string without returning false, that means that it was able to pass all the checks and the entire and the entire string um, is okay. So I return true. I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the string. If you like this video, please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.